Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to be teaching you how to install and use the uh, Rampage Trainer for Red Dead Redemption 2. So first we're going to want to download and install, install script hook. So there'll be a link in the description, just click the link, come down to the download section, click download. Next you're going to want to download the trainer itself, so there'll be another link in the description. Uh, just sign into a Nexus account or make a new Nexus account, find files and then decide which version of the trainer you want. This version looks like this and the other version looks like that. So um, I prefer the second version, that's the one I'm going to use, so that's the one I'm going to download. So after that find your Red Dead Redemption 2 folder if you're using Steam. Just go into Red Dead Redemption 2, manage, browse local files and it will just load it up. If you're using anything else just find your local files, you, you can do it, I believe in you. After that you're going to want to open up script hook go into bin and copy and paste these two files. I already have them in there, so I'm going to replace them. Make sure you do not copy the native trainer. I actually already have the native trainer in here from my last tutorial. Um, I'm going to delete that. So I've opened up the Rampage folder. Um, and once you get to this part here, you just want to drag and drop these files into the root. So the same folder as your Red Dead Redemption 2 EXE. And then after that, you are done. So I'm going to load up Red Dead Redemption 2 and we're going to mess around with this trainer. So once you load into the game for the first time, you're going to see this welcome menu here. Just press enter A or numpad 5. And you'll get another one, terms of service, just accept that. And once you're done with that, you can press F5 and now you have access to the complete menu and this is hands down the best train I've ever used. It has everything you could ever want, um, including like a bunch of settings. You can uh, rebind the menu controls, um, you change the way it looks, uh, you can edit your character stats and reveal the entire map if you want, uh, which is for me a go-to. Every time I, I play a new save file, I always just show all map. It doesn't spawn these things in, these little sketches that are for draws. All it does is remove all of the fog so you can see the entire map, which makes sense if it is a map that Arthur's holding in his hands that he's sketching on uh, when you explore. Um, it's not like Arthur's manually drawing each of the roads and stuff. I don't know. Uh, you can spawn in your own horses. You can spawn in like whatever weapons you, you want. You can, there are so many cheats. Uh, if you want to disable the offhand holster, you can come into the wardrobe, disable the offhand holster, you can disable the satchel too. Um, you can also just disable any components you want on Arthur. Um, I, I can't be bothered to go through all of this, but I'll get rid of the... Um, I'll get rid of the gun belt to show you can do that. Um, there it is, gun belt. Say if you're role playing or whatever and it's a hot day, you can remove his shirt. Or if you just don't like the way suspenders look, you can take them off. You can do whatever you want. It just gives you a lot more freedom. You can also turn yourself into a donkey if that's what you want to do. You know, you can turn yourself to any, <laughs> turn yourself into any animal in the game. Like, uh, I'm a big fan of bullfrogs, so. That's just what I'm, I'm going to be a bullfrog. Yeah. That's what I'm going to exist as for a while. Just hop in, just, just live in life as a little froggy. Uh, the small animals kind of break the camera. That's why he's like off in the corner. That's the best I could do. But with the bigger animals, the camera is a lot better. Um, and it's really cool. You can see the, the animations that all of these animals have. And it's, it's really impressive. Um, and you can turn yourself into people too and horses if you want to do that. Um, let's turn myself into the scrawny nag from from online. Oh, he's so scrawny and, and yucky. Um, the cause will affect the horse's animations uh, and the animal's animations, so I've got really low stamina so my horse is really tired. But um, if I was to um, go into here, maybe 
and then fill cores. There we go, I'm back to normal. Scrawny nag is, 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 is energized again. Look at him go. He's so scrawny. That will never change, but he has energy. Uh, so yeah, you can, you can do lots of stuff with this menu. Uh, you can also fly if you, if you want. And uh, one other thing, hang on, hang on a second, I've got to save, I've got to save a man's life. Um, let's, let's give myself every weapon, so I have my, my, no I don't have it, I was trying to get my lasso back, but apparently Gibble doesn't give me a lasso, so oh, in order to save this guy, no! No, I didn't make it in time. Anyways, uh, as I was about to say, there's one last thing I want to do. And uh, if I can find it. Um, where is it? Player scale. Let's just make Arthur huge. He's growing. He's a big boy. He's drank a lot of milk. Um, oh, there's like evil growing out of him. Ew. Uh the physics on that neckerchief isn't isn't doing too well, and his hair is um no his his pants oh this is all not not going to let's shrink him down a little bit. So let's just go the opposite. There we go. Little tiny Arthur, look at him go. He's so small. I wish I had a gun. I got some throwing knives though. Damn it, I don't have dead eye. Tiny Arthur doesn't have any dead eye. He's too small. I don't think there's anybody else around. It's a hard life being a tiny Arthur. Need to do more than wave it around to get my blood up. Oh get the horse, get the horse. The horse was too quick. Damn it, tiny Arthur. If only he could run faster. If only his legs were longer. Anyways, let's let's loot this guy. Probably has something good on him. Oh, he has a good gun though. Oh no! Now trying tiny Arthur's in trouble. Now Dutch is angry at him. Oh, come on, Arthur. Apologize to Dutch. What brings you in here? Big old Dutch Vanderland. Am I sensing ideas above your station again? I part love you and I part hate you. Why are you acting like a fool? But mostly, I don't understand a word you say. Ungrateful bastard. Morning. Hi there. Smile. Things could be worse. <laughs> 